Hey everybody, it's Ricardo, and I am here on our special motion control section of the booth with Jeremy Ray, senior producer from Sony, let me get this right, Sony San Diego Studios, San Diego Studios sorry, uh, who is on Medieval Moves, uh, Deadman's Quest, which is the PlayStation Move game that we got to check out at the press conference. So Jeremy, talk to us about this because this is just a very versatile move game. It's kind of taking everything from sports champions and dumping it all into into a game, right? Yeah, we wanted to uh, take some of the elements, uh, the, the great move mechanics from Sports Champions 1 and, uh, and, and be able to apply them in, in a new interesting way. So, like for example, the Gladiator Dual Sword and Shield Combat, that, that makes a return, uh, the basis of that makes a return in, in uh, Medieval Move Devon's Quest. The bow and arrow archery sections you can see here, one click, fire bows and arrows. Um, I can also, if you, those, those of you that played Sports Champions remember the disc golf, we have a kind of similar gameplay mechanic with throwing stars, and you can throw those, chuck those as fast as you want. You can go forehand, backhand, whatever the angle of your throwing star and how hard you throw it affects the shot. So, so, make, so making sure that those mechanics feel, feel really good and our, our true one-to-one -one experiences is, is always for, on our forefront of our mind. Now, how do you bring up the the sword and shield, for example? It's just there, so I'm not pushing any buttons. I just swing my hands, and you're going to see the, the sword. If I do a figure eight, you'll see the sword move. If I move really slow, you'll see the sword move really slow. It's it's completely uh, connected to you in a one-to-one -one experience. And how do you swap between the weapons? Like, you just switch to uh, shuriken. Right, so to, to uh, throw a shuriken, you, the T button on the back on the back of the controller, grab the shuriken, hold that down, and now I've, now I've got the shuriken in my hand, and I just do a throwing motion, release the T, and it'll throw a, throw a shuriken. Now for the bow and arrow, it's kind of a, a similar method. You take this guy out. I'm going to reach behind my head like I've got a quiver, hold the T button down, I've got an arrow in my hand, point that arrow at the uh, unfortunate enemy here, let it fly, and there you go. Nicely done. Thank you. All right, so the name of the game is... Medieval Moves, Deadman's Quest. Right. So, who is Deadman and what is his quest? So, the, the premise of the game is you play as a uh, young prince named Edmund, and uh, there's an evil sorcerer named Morgrim who's uh, placed a skeleton curse across the whole kingdom, so all your friends have been turned into skeletons, including yourself. You've got this family heirloom, this amulet, that prevents uh, Morgrim from taking over control of your mind, but you did turn into a skeleton. So you spend, you spend the entire game trying to uh, rectify the situation, defeat Morgrim, and return the kingdom back to, back to the way it was before. But, I mean, to be, to be clear, being a skeleton, is it all a downside, or are there some benefits? Well, uh, there's some comedic benefits to being a skeleton. Like, for example, if you get hurt, um, you can drink milk to get re regain your health. You know, good for the bones. This is what, this is what I hear about the milk. <laughs> this is what I hear, too. And like this enemy you're seeing right here is a, is a captain, so I, I was fighting some of the grunts, which are kind of, uh, uh, they're, they're more numerous, but they're not as tough. This, this, uh, this captain takes more shots, he's got a shield, he ends up blocking a lot of attacks. And so you can have a variety of different enemies, all of Morgan's minions. Now, right now we're seeing a single player experience. Is it only single player, or can you play with a friend? So there is multiplayer. Uh, all the details we're not revealing, but right now what we can say is there is offline and online multiplayer, and there's going to be competitive and cooperative modes. Nicely done. Now what I'm seeing over there in the left hand, in the right hand corner, I'm sorry, uh, is a score. Yes. There's a modifier that's obviously going up as you're getting consecutive hits. What do, is is that just points? Is it some kind of currency that we can use? Yeah. So there there's points in the game, and uh, there's gonna be, it'll be leaderboard score, so you can you know compete against your friends, so you can get the highest score. And we're not, uh, I guess, we're not reading all the details on, on multiplayer, but there is going to be a, a, a leveling up system that we'll be uh, look forward to talking about more later, where you can, you know, increase increase uh, increase your players' abilities here. And so right now we are in a castle of some kind that is full of enemies that need murdering, uh, freeing actually, freeing, actually okay. freeing them from the curse. All right, so you're freeing them by murdering them. It looks like from the <laughs> curse. Uh, is that the kind of locations that we can expect in the game? Are we always indoors? Are we outdoors? What's happening? There's uh, outdoor environments, there's indoor environments. So right now what you're looking at is a, is a castle tower. There's also uh, environments that are, that are outdoors. Uh, you can't go into all the details about all the levels, but there's, for example, there's some underground mine levels. Uh, there's, there's a level where you get to see Morgum's army kind of staging their attack. So a lot of different variety, both from an aesthetic look uh, as well as like from a gameplay perspective. 
And, and who is this? This is uh, one of the big scary characters that just might be a boss later, later on. Um, maybe. And, and maybe. No spoilers. <laughs> now, one question I have as someone that played sports champions a lot. Uh, are we going to be calibrating quite as often as we were in that game? Well, in Sports Champions, uh, we need to calibrate for each event. For medieval moves, um, because there's you know, not a uh, bunch of disparate events, you calibrate once when you start the game for each gameplay session, but then you, know, you can play for a few hours and you won't be doing that again until the next time you start the game up. All right, now is this going to have 3D support at all? Yes, and the 3D I think looks, looks really, really cool. Um, I think uh, you know the high con the high contrast art style really makes it pop very well in 3D. And in terms of game length and content, is this going to be like a, kind of a shortish game? Is it going to be long, it's, medium? It's, it's a full Blu-ray title, uh, and all, all our Blu-ray titles are uh, $39.95 um, uh, Blu-ray exclusive titles. And uh, you know you can expect you can expect a, a lengthy single-player campaign along with the uh, multiplayer options that we talked about. All right, and this is another one of the, I guess, not quite uh, kind of a weapon motion, but it's another use of the move. How many other, how many, how many things like that are there in the game between, uh, besides the lock picking? Yeah, well, there's a few dozen uh, items like that that we use to kind of mix up the uh, the action combat stages, so that we, you know sometimes you're fighting, other times you're doing little things like pulling this lever or uh, uh, doing the, that lock pick where you do the twist to uh, unlock the tumblers to help break up the action. All right, well. Game looks real cool. When is this thing coming out? This fall. All right. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. There you go. That is your first look at Dead, uh, Medieval Moves, Deadman's Quest for the PlayStation 3 using PlayStation Move. We're going to go back to the show floor because there's a ton of action that the guys are capturing right now.